Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try as much as possible to look at the camera, but if I don't, just pay attention to me. This keeps blinking, I don't know what is wrong with it. I'm hoping that the audio is still going to be picked up. If not, sorry y'all. I really can't help, it's hot, so the AC is on. Um, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Abimola Craig. Today is going to be a short one. I literally came back from church, and I know I'm not going to post it today, because I ain't gonna lie to you, the editor, it's gonna take a while. Hopefully I can post it tomorrow. So hopefully this comes out on Monday. Fingers crossed. But if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. And you know, love it here. Come in, come in, come in and sit down and relax. This is a quick setup. Um, but I really want to talk about Big Brother Ninja All Stars. For the longest of time, I have avoided it and I've tried not to. But the inside of me wants to come out. So I've decided I'm going to. And I'm going to try and hopefully touch on certain points that I remember. I have a book here because I always write things down. But I hope I can remember. I did a live on Friday and that was lit. Because, you know, I do better when I flow <laughs> freely. So yeah, let's start with this. When I heard about this, I heard about this from a very good friend of mine who is also in the house. She is my younger sister. She's a sweetheart. And when she told me about it, I was like, oh, I didn't even know this was happening. And she's like, oh, she just wants me to know she's going into the house. And what do I think about it? I was like, well, first of all, this is your second time going in. I think it's a great opportunity. I don't think one can ever be tired of exposure. Um, because it's your second time, you definitely know how to handle things a bit better in terms of your emotions. You built your character into a beautiful, amazing woman. So I'm sure you definitely can handle this. It's the second time. Show the world what you have. Now, she's done well. So this is not even about her. In other countries, um, when this kind of thing happens or this kind of show happens, it's usually always great you know they have get me out of here i'm a celebrity big brother they have all these things where people come and they are offered a grand sum of money and usually when whoever wins the money the money is sent to their charity in nigeria first of all the money is not sent to any charity the money is sent to them directly and i'm saying this to say when i hear young people the gen z's and the gen whatever's and even millennials you know when i hear people just talk especially nigerians when i hear them talk about wanting to be famous i'm constantly always very confused because you see i don't know about anywhere on, you see i don't know about anywhere else in the world but i'll tell you in nigeria that being famous doesn't necessarily equate to you having a hefty bank account and so i say that to say on this platform of how many people that they brought back who have all been on the same platform before majority of them are there for the money the country is hard. The economy is hard. So, in your mind, someone has 15 million followers, 3.5 million followers. Why are they on this kind of show? It's because they need money. I just need to say that first of all. Now, these people have been given a second chance at this platform and you would think that they will come ready to be able to show the world who they are and hopefully, yes, win the money, play the game, but also because they've done this before, right? So, foresight. It's the fact that, you know what, even if I don't win the money, I definitely know that people are watching. I know brands are watching. So whatever it is, I'm going to sell myself the best way I can. Because I've done this before, so I know what to expect. It's the opposite. This is the worst and most toxic season ever. From people who have done this before, you will think that given this kind of platform, they're coming here. Listen, I would have preferred if they came to act. I would have preferred it. Let them come and let them be doing act to an actress. Show us inside of you that some people came back who were mm, okay in their first season. In this All Stars, they've shown their true character. Some of them have shown you what fame can do. Some of them have come to let you know that age is a big thing for them. Garaya, they are not your mates. You cannot talk to them anymore. Who are you? Tori shaking me. Why? What's the issue? Anyway, I'm just going to try and run through things quickly. Quickly, because a few things have happened and it's just utterly disgusting. Now, first of all, start with the three amigos. Shay, Pere, and Ike. Some days ago, something very foul and vile happened. Um, Ike chose to wake up in the middle of the night and trash Baye. Baye is one of the young girls who is there. She's 22. She's the youngest in the house. Pour her clothes, scatter her clothes all over the floor in the bathroom. Why? We don't know, but he chose to do it in his own disturbed way. His reason was because he wanted the general public to have pity on her and then end up wanting to save her, wanting her to win so that that way 
his ex-girlfriend Messi doesn't win. Make it make sense. And so he sits down and he tells this other two amigos, Perry and Shay, and they all are in agreement with it. Let's frustrate this young girl so she gets another third strike and then she's pushed out of the house. Three grown men decide to bully a young girl to the point where they try to make her look silly and try to frustrate her. To what end? You see, there's a lot I want to unpack in this, but I'm going to try and be very, very concise and very precise. I was irritated on so many folds, but there's an angle I want you guys to see that a lot of you might not agree with, but that's fine. I know how many other ladies in that house have been rude to both Perry and Shay. She has said it countless times before. Don't talk to me, you are rude to me. Nobody talk to me. Why did any of them not attack those ladies, but they chose to attack by him? You see, there's something that Nigerian... I take that back. There's something that some Nigerian men do. Some. Listen, if this shoe is not your shoe, don't wear it. That means don't come into the comment section and start fighting. Just walk up us. Some Nigerian... And I say this on my chest because I have majority male friends. Not saying my male friends are like this, but I know what I'm saying. Some Nigerian men... believe and I say act because that's what it is if you're a woman that they don't find attractive that they don't feel like there's anything that you give them they don't see you as fine they don't see you as someone that will ever want to date in their lives they, whatever, they constantly would disrespect you and that's it and so for me that's what they did to buy out of all the other babes in the house that has insulted them and have been rude to them they've never once reacted like this but this one that they don't rate they don't send that who is she that's who you chose to pick on it says a lot about three of you. There's one of you that's already married. The other two, I'm sure you guys want to be married. It's disgusting behavior. So now I'm about to dissect. Shayi Awolo was not his first time in the house. When Shayi was in the house first season, he was loud. Shayi is a generally loud person. And I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. But he's also the kind of person where you're so loud that most times when you utter things, in the last... 24 to 48 hours, Shei has uttered a bunch of jargons. Again, he wants to bully somebody. Somebody was rude to him. He starts talking to the point where he's saying vile things. He's raising sons to be able to sleep with people's daughters. Shei has a lot of therapy he needs to go to, but most importantly, he needs help. I will say with my full chest. As for Perry, again, no offense to these people, but I just don't see the point to it. Her is in that house constantly always what? Being vain. But what is he bringing to the table? But every opportunity that you get, you connive, you try to be condescending to people. Yes, you guys, you say it's a game. But people that play the game are tactical about it. I'll give you a clear example. You see what they did to Baye, especially EK throwing Baye's clothes away. When it was time, Messi came to come and meet her. Messi helped her gather the clothes. I was going to help her put it in the laundry. Baye took the clothes and said, I trashed it. Now, her trashing it. Don't you say, ah, you're throwing all your underwears away. It means that to the end of this show, you have no underwear. She said she doesn't care. You know what she did by that point? She pushed Biggie. You know what she did at that point? She pushed Biggie's hand. You see her throwing the clothes away and choosing to go without underwear for the next how many months? Hopefully she's there for that long. How? Why? The whole public will now come and say, Biggie. Biggie, this babe does not have underwear. She doesn't have clothes and you're okay with it. She forced Biggie's hand, and Biggie had no choice but to what? Take action. Even if he was going to maybe wait till eviction day, by the next day, he had already called, giving everybody strike. That's how you play game. Tactical. You don't necessarily need to go everybody's route, or you choose. But when it comes to the point where you have to be so condescending, rude, demeaning, immature, vile to people, Nah, man. And I was saying it the other day on my life that you see this behavior of all these different characters in this house is a true representation of why our economy and our country is the way it is. At the, at the core of it all, Nigerians are selfish. Everybody's always willing to, they don't care whatever it is, to get ahead of the next man. Because if we took a second and paused and thought about the things that we did sometimes, we'll realize that we don't need to just be able to get ahead. But I digress. EK is back in this house from the minute he got in and he saw Messi, he's been complaining. He doesn't want to see her. They once dated in their own season, they are done. They did. Baba, check out. 
But since you've stayed in the house, you haven't brought anything to the table. You've caused me harm. And maybe some people say that's entertainment. But again, I'm coming from what a standpoint of even as a PR person, as a brand representative, as someone who manages talent, utterly disgusting. When it comes to Bae, Bae is a lot. I totally agree. Her first few weeks there, she was loud. She wanted everybody to know. She got into fights constantly. Maybe that was her MO until she got two strikes. When she got two strikes, she realized, say, ah, 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 ah. At the end of the day, <laughs> they say there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no work without evidence. If you don't win the money, what you going to do? She had to calm down. And she's been calming herself down, but yet people have chosen. And I understand that perception sometimes, you know, once that first, first, first introduction to who you are, people run with it. And so she put herself in this situation. People have been isolating her. People have chosen not to get with her. People don't want to interact with her. That's fine. However, when you choose and you resort to bully people, it's disgusting. Every day, we go, I'm not your mate, I'm not your mate, I'm not your mate. Hello, please. The minute all of you sign contract and choose to be on this platform, you're equal. There's no senior, there's no... And Nigerians that always shout this, I'm not your mate. It really upsets me because respect is earned. It's not given. If you act a certain way, people will treat you a certain way. If you move a certain way, people will move according to how you move. Angel, her first season, one thing I respected about her, and I said it, people judged her because of how she dressed and how she looked, that's your business. From her first season to now, if there's anything I will constantly give her for, is her level of self-awareness. You see, you can't fault a person that is already aware of their flaws and their strengths. Angel is so self-aware, so emotionally intelligent, it brings me so much joy when she speaks. Is she quick to be angry? Yes, she is. However, for me, those two things outweigh everything else. She fell for this Omar guy. So my guy was in the last season. Yeah, I didn't understand when they brought him into the house. I honestly don't. Apart from his ship with Angel, I don't know what Somai again will bring into the table. No, no offense. No offense. No offense. Messy. Messy, 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 messy. Messy Lamborghini Messi. Honestly speaking, if there's one thing I've always appreciated about that girl, it's her competitive spirit. Messi is always ready to win. She never comes to not win. She's willing to do whatever it takes. So since she's been in the house, she's first of all a queen. Every guy in that house, you can tell they find her attractive. Based off of that, first of all, she knows how to use what she has. And I'm not saying in a bad way. All she needs to do is walk past hi they will smile they will rub her feet they would but when it comes to the games Messi is competitive and so she stayed that way she's tried very 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 intentionally to stay out of trouble you see that's someone that's also understood the fact that you see the first time i came on this platform i was nobody by the time i left this platform i was able to build myself to become somebody and when i mean nobody i'm not trying to say she wasn't calm down i'm talking about in terms of branding and so now, as coming back into the house, she's definitely a big brand name. She has endorsements. And so she understands that and so she's making sure that she's staying afloat. White money. I don't understand. White money, I think, since the entire season that he's been here, the entire time he's been here, I think this party was the first time he ever gave any vibes because he danced. Apart from that, I really don't understand what white money is doing in the house. He serves as a voice of reasoning to certain characters, Angel and a few other people. But apart from that, honestly speaking, he's not really bringing anything else. Um, I guess he was one of those people that saw the opportunity again to be able to come back. I feel like he came back too soon. I feel like they could have picked somebody else. But fraud. I'm going to read what I wrote here because I need to. Fraud. He's too handsy for me. I don't like it. I don't see what he does for the house or the game. But his need to always get sexual with the ladies as a married man makes me very uncomfortable. And so that is me and fraud. Any excuse or any opportunity to touch Mrs. Bum to touch Angel's thigh, to touch anybody's back, to go a bit on the lower back. Fraud seems to just enjoy it. The other time his entire social media handler chose to put out a statement that as a married man, Kinikiniko is an entertainer, you made an excuse for something that was so flimsy and so outrightly wrong and uncomfortable to a bunch of people. And then the next time again, he did the same thing. It just, for me, it's very off-putting. I don't, yeah, mm. don't eat. Doi is pretty. I found it very interesting when she got into a fight with Venita, that Venita chose to call her old, oh, Venita chose to call her ugly, chose to talk about the fact that all she does this entire season is always be in makeup. 
I think Doyin understood that listen, last season, she sees this platform as a second opportunity to want to showcase herself and try beauty. It's her business, but with or without makeup, she's gorgeous. I just need to say that. Doyin too likes trouble, for sure. Doyin likes trouble. But one thing I appreciate about her, and the next character I'm going to talk about, is, which is Alex, is that they don't like unfairness. I remember during her reunion, and how she just kept on talking about the Queenie and a bunch of people. She was very direct, you know. I could tell that she sees people for who they are. And she doesn't like when people cheat people, people are slight people. So even though she might have had issues with Bai and they constantly keep going back and forth, their friendship is a bit interesting to me because, yeah. But anyways, I digress. She doesn't like when people pick on people. Alex. Alex is chilled in the house. Alex has constantly focused on just making sure that she's playing the game. Every time she's in the arena, she's trying to make sure that she wins. She's focusing on that. She's there for purely winning the money, getting the game, putting herself out there. Always entertaining everybody during the party time. She's there. My girl does not rest. Always dancing, giving it to them. However, I see that she avoids conflict a lot. Until recently, when she upset her and she told him off about the buy thing, Alex is also very soft. So, things get to her a lot. I'm really hoping that she gives us a bit more, aside from dancing on Saturday, not drama per se, but a bit more personality because she has a lot of personality. So, Sissy and Alex, obviously, if you know them from their season, they never got along. When this season started again, you could tell that there was conflict, you could tell that there was tension between the two of them. However, I'm happy that they've chosen to avoid themselves. It's the best way. There's no need for any boire. They've just chosen to avoid themselves. So that way there's less conflict. Sissy this entire season has been a bit more open, which has made me really, really happy. She's showing more of her personality because genuinely, genuinely, I genuinely think she's a sweet person. However, there's constantly, you know, all of us have that grace in us. When somebody spark it like this, now you spark them, they will ignite. Plus, this season has been very sweet and very calm. This season, Cross has been very sweet and very calm. Um, I think he's shown more of his personality. He's definitely an empath, which has been good to see. But if there's one thing that Cross is, Cross likes women. I don't think he's ever hit that. We've seen him kiss by him. We've seen him flirt with Messi. We've seen him flirt with Sissy. We've seen him flirt with Euro. Um, it's been very interesting to see. I think he's playing the game, but I don't, I don't know if he's going to win. But let's let's be seeing. Adekunle. I had so much hope for Adekunle. I did, especially as an individual. Um, his first season, I had hopes for him. I was like, oh my god, okay, this guy is good looking. It seems like he has depth. Because if there's one thing that Adekunle is, Adekunle is smart. Adekunle is smart. If you pay attention to him, he's smart. However, he's also arrogant. And when you let that line blur, it's a very difficult thing to go back from. And for me, that's my issue with Adekunle. Now he has chosen to one, stick with Venita. That's the ship that he's on, which is great. You know, she's older than him, whatever. Um, however, I don't see how the two of them are beneficial to each other because what he's become now is worse than what he was in his own season which is in his own season a lot of people didn't like him because he talked a lot and he talked about people a lot now he actually has someone that does the same thing which is Venita. all they do is sit down and talk about people and yap and eat and this entire season Venita has not been the most likable she's been very quick to just talk anyhow talk out of context blow things out of proportion not being able to handle herself better which for me has hurt me because I expected a bit more maturity from her. And the maturity I'm talking about is in terms of everything. Age, life experiences, and exposure. I just haven't seen that from Venita. And every opportunity, it gets worse. I'm just like, who is this pretty girl? Because you open your mouth sometimes and the things you say, I'm just like, you should know when to just walk away. Sometimes just walk away. Urel, Urel has left too and it pained me that she left because she gave me pure entertainment. If there's one thing Urel is going to do is capitalize on every opportunity that she's given. I respect her for that. The only thing that did come off a bit weird to me was, I feel like, and again, I don't know you personally, so this is based off of what I saw. I feel like Urel is ready to be in a committed relationship with someone that appreciates her. Um, and I feel like her need and her want for that sometimes can come off as her throwing herself at people. 
and that's not necessarily a bad thing there's nothing wrong with going after what you want but this entire season i feel like if you just focus more on the game as opposed to the neos and the other people i feel like should have still been there longer minus the fact that they brought this whole judge thing and all these judges that they bring which are former housemates that eventually end up making the final decision is really just a piss take because she had no business leaving the house honestly speaking that baby was giving us content so you were all sorry you had to leave early my worry brother and i have to say what i wrote here i rooted for you ah, i rooted for new and v oh my god me i, I like v i respect a lot of people who are empathetic who speak their mind um who are self-aware you know what i mean and i really rooted for himself and v and when they came out of the house they dated for a bit and then we don't know what really happened but they separated now he's back in the house first of all he is a good looking boy he's dressed as well he's he's a game lit kind of boy so in terms of aesthetics he's pleasing however in terms of personality i honestly don't feel like i've seen him i honestly don't feel like i've seen his personality and for me that's been very sad I've seen him play the field, you know, today kiss you real, tomorrow flirt with this person, but I haven't seen him show us who he really is, except that time when he apologized to his cousin when they had a mishap or a fight. I want to know Neo more. I want him to focus. Also, this ship with him and Tolani Badge is really rubbing me off the wrong way. And let's not talk about Tolani. It's okay, and I keep telling people that people change their minds. You know, today I don't like Benz, tomorrow I like Benz. It's okay that you decide that you want to like someone. However, how you go about it is the issue for me. And for me, that's the problem I have with Tolani Badge on the show. Again, I have to be very specific on the show because I don't know her personally. I feel like every season, she's just been very sneaky about how she just goes about things. So our entire season, she and V had a lot of clashes, even down to the reunion time. And V just said it simply that, listen, you're just pissed because you wanted my man. She said, no, she doesn't. She's not interested. You come into this house and it starts with you being best friends. You helping him sift through who to date and ship with and who not to. I don't understand why. But eventually, you let him know that, oh no, one gone gone, you are the one that I want. I, I, just... I feel like even if you had any form of feelings for this guy, honestly speaking, between me and you, Tibaj, it's a situation where you should have just let him know it's okay saying it, but not acting on it till you leave the house so that you know whether it's true or not. Because now you're in that house, constantly triggered when he talks to other babes and flirts with other babes. And you're looking like a moppet. And all this could have been avoided if you didn't just run on your emotions. And that's the thing with me and Tiba. Tiba is so emotional. That even when she talks, you can everything is it's emotional. Sometimes just calm down. Just think first with your follow before you react but what do i know i'm just an observer watching the show and sharing my opinion at the end of the day this is what i'm going to say i don't know who's going to win this season and frankly speaking i really don't care um i am just very 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 sad about the fact that a bunch of people were given a second opportunity on a big global platform like this and some of them just could not act right some of them have made you if before you could stand them you like them utterly hate them some of them have showed you sight to them that they had no business revealing to the world that they cannot take back and you see that's why when opportunities like this present themselves you need to think about it very very well before you go into it because as much as these people had done this before you'd have thought that they would be they would be more strategic about it but you forget every day leaving you forget the camera the room you just start to react anyhow and so for me it saddens me the level of toxic behavior is very boring um and i would say again that you know moving on because i don't think big brother is about to shut down or stop you know people have been saying it want to petition them they've been petitioning them for years i don't think it's about to but i definitely think that even as nigerians not just big brother as nigerians i think we need to understand the culture of certain shows like this, you know what I mean? If we're doing love and hip hop, and if we're doing even Real Housewives franchise, right? <laughs> There's certain things that we expect from you, but there needs to be a, there needs to be a line. And so I'm, I'm, I'm just saddened that this is definitely not going to help some people grow. 
their brand. Some people are definitely going to lose endorsements because, I mean, it is what it is, but then it's Nigeria. So a lot of things are constantly always just, so who knows? Anyways, I really like to hear you guys' thoughts in the comment below. I really love to hear your thoughts, so please let me know in the comment below. I'm tired, guys, but I finally done this video. All of 30 minutes, I gotta go. So enjoy, watch, share, like, and yeah, man. Please, let's not try and bash each other in the comment section. Everybody should be coming down. I'm gonna put disclaimer first so everybody will just breathe a little bit because these big brother people, nah, they take the world to your chest. So yeah, man. But please, let's definitely have a civil conversation in the comment section. Till next time, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye.